Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull cards for those Aquarius who are reconciling with someone uh, those who uh, are single and those who are in a relationship. All right, so let's see. Um, what do we have to tell the Aquarius who are who are reconciling, who's reconciling with uh, whomever? Let's see. Judication. All right, so you, you got to hear each other out. You've got to make sense of coming back together. You might need a third party. You might need a mediator. Listen to here to listen to understand um don't read into don't feed into just listen to your person and understand them right where they are and vice versa they need to do this with you one more card um, this could be third party situation maybe they're trying to tell you about this they want you to hear them out they want um advocacy okay yeah, thoughts. Okay, so yeah, um, you're wondering if there's another woman, um, if your person is still holding on to the idea of being in another relationship, or um, is there someone in the background? Um, you want to know his thoughts about this other woman, what he feels for this person? All right. So let's see what um, is going on for the Aquarius who is already in a relationship. Aquarius who are in relationships. Let's see. What is the message for Aquarius in relation? Okay, pathway. Okay, so you guys have been at it for a while, a few years. It could be one to two years. It could be even more. It's under five though. You know, um, yeah. Uh, so something new has blossomed, developed finally within this, um, this relationship here. And it could be marriage. It could be any type of relationship, but something new is happening. Yeah, message of concern. So it's like, um, something is, this person surprised you with something new, a getaway, um, maybe engagement here. Something happened here where, um, you know, it was a shock. It was a surprise. Um, and something new is developing for you too. So that's really good. Um, somebody made something, you know, uh, order out of chaos. They made it right. Or they, they made it uh, solid or firm. Uh, maybe they made a, um, a recommitment recommitting themselves to you in some way let's see all right so let's see what is going on for the aquarius who are single whoa those cards flipped out you see that okay so new start maybe even a new person whoa marriage okay so my single aquarius um oh okay and they said this energy can kind of piggyback off of this reconciling energy here this new start here um child maybe around spring easter time you could be getting married or, or there'll be a full-on commitment happening it's a lot of hard work to do in this relationship whether you are committed you're reconciling with someone or you're single okay um, your hard work may be on yourself. Self-reflection is paying off and it's going to get you to a place of a more committed connection. New start. Um, that is, um, that comes with commitment, maybe even marriage, you know? This is really good, Aquarius. No bad cars towards like, oh my gosh. You know, um, this is really good. Let's see what's going on here. What is the story for my Aquarius who are reconciling? Can we um, clarify adjudication and thoughts? Somebody really wants to know what this person is thinking, how they were thinking, what they want from them. You know, what does the future look like? What is this about? Yeah, four of cups. Um, okay, so somebody wants to know why you changed your mind or you wanna know why someone changed their mind about you. Maybe why they're doubling back. They may have um, dumped you, uh, neglected you, rejected you, or vice versa. This is what you did. And now someone is having a change of heart. 
a change of position or disposition about the relationship. Yeah, high priestess. So it could be it could have something to do with maybe Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius. Um, Cancer coming up again, Pisces and Sagittarius. So it's like you want to know about maybe some woman that's in the background too. You know, what does this person mean to you? Um, are you in love with this person? Ace of Cups. Hmm. So it's like bef those who are reconciling, conversations need to be had about what the future looks like, what you both can offer each other, what has changed that made you two want to come back together. Uh, what what is the significance of the relationship and then what are we building on or from so let's see what let's clarify what's going on for our coupled Aquarius the pathway and the message of concern what's going on for the coupled Aquarius yeah Empress so a new something new is developing we saw that with pathway here new way um, maybe making something stable, solid, yeah, fun and excitement, maybe even a trip or someone is, yeah, um, a surprise getaway if you're in a relationship. Um, it says life is just going to go really quickly and it's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of spontaneous uh, energy, lots of fun too with the Knight of Wands. It looks like somebody is interjecting. Uh, more fun into the relationship you know maybe it had gotten stale here yes yeah, someone's being nicer or nice to getting back to simpler times because it maybe it was on the rocks or the relationship was on the rocks with the nine of swords and someone thought like this is the beginning of the end here very nice so really good um yeah all right so let's see what's going on for my single aquarius who have the child card new start um something new developing something small but it can turn into marriage it can turn into something very committed it talks about um maybe around springtime easter uh, let's see clarify child and marriage for Aquarius nine of Pentacles in the chariot so who um, that's some real so maybe you're feeling like somebody's coming off as really focused on themselves really focused on the direction of their their career their business like they're holding back from you with the moon card could be dealing with the cancer Piscean um, but it looks like they're they're focused on you know putting you in that pedestal the six of wands um proposing something nine of cups proposing some yeah this person wants to marry you like they want to have some change in the relationship wow look where it's going to commitment this is what they're working towards it may come off as focused on themselves or kind of a closed energy but it looks like they're what they're holding back is the fact that they really want to stabilize the relationship they may even want something to happen kind of quickly so it's like they have to be focused on maybe closing one door and going to another getting more organized with the hierophant so yeah you may feel like oh this is it's just hard work being with them. I can't ever get anything across to them or I can't get time with them or I can't make them do or whatever the, the situation is. But it looks like this person is like that because they have a plan, you know? Um, so you kind of got to let things play out, Aquarius. Or this is you, Aquarius, and your person needs to let things play out. Let's see what the Butterfly Oracle deck has to offer for the Aquarius who who is reconciling. Volunteer. Yeah, you want somebody to volunteer the information. You shouldn't have to pull it out of them. This is the only way you feel like you guys are going to be able to move forward in the connection. 
is if uh, we talk about the past and talk about what hurt you, what hurt me, and how we're going to be better. What has changed? What are we building on or from? Yeah, whoa, it flew out of the deck. Like, the only way it's going to work is if you guys are leaving. Can you see that? So that says leaving. And this card speaks of um, specifically leaving toxic, stuck mindsets, relationship dynamic behind. Toxic is just unhealthy. Okay. So and it takes more than one person to make a situation toxic, you know? So, um, the both of you have to do the work. So it's like, someone's like, okay, if we sit with a volunteer, if we sit with each other and volunteer, what went wrong, what happened, what I did, what you did, we can move past this. We can leave this behind. And we saw that with adjudication is like, we need to maybe even sit with a mediator, counselor, psychotherapist, I don't know, somebody to help um, move the ball forward because it's kind of stuck if we don't talk about this. Let's see what uh, the Butterfly Oracle deck has to say for the coupled Aquarius. Welcome the new, I knew it's something new is definitely developing for the coupled Aquarius. Could be moving, could be taking trips. Uh, could be there could have been a, a proposal yep a windfall of good luck energy love um getting back to the simpler times things got tough to where the both of you were asking is this the beginning of the end but now you're in a place of maybe um renewing um connecting backwards with the six of cups there understanding why you came together in the first place this is this is a very very good reading aquarius all right so those who um are single what do we have to tell the aquarius i think this kind of piggybacks off of those who are reconciling just because you reconcile with someone doesn't mean that um you're necessarily back together just yet so you could be still single technically so let's see what um does the butterfly oracle deck have to offer the aquarius who is single that's a butterfly oracle deck has to offer the aquarius support very nice so um maybe somebody's going to be more supportive oh you should be more supportive it's just like somebody's trying to work towards what you say you want yeah they try to retire an old way of existing the old way of existing with each other heal from the past trying to have the courage to move forward that's really good it's like maturity happening here they're trying to do something different you know especially this is someone from the past singles you could be meeting someone new um something that you you didn't even have a lot of plans for it could have been started very small and now it's get it's gonna grow into maybe even marriage uh be supportive you do have support of the universe friends family retire that old way of, of thinking of existing of being so controlling and domineering heal from that from the past maybe if you fit some of you feel like if you're in control of the narrative then you can control the outcome but you can't control human beings you know you just can't so you're always there it's always that variable it's always going to be you know 50 50 it's always going to be a toss-up it's always going to be um no guarantees there are no guarantees excuse me in relationships they just aren't you know and if you are trying to only engage in a relationship where you're not going to get hurt or you're not going to hurt someone it's ridiculous you should stay out of the dating market because there are no guarantees in relationships so you just gotta have the courage to press forward do the hard work toil and labor i think all aquarius here need to do the hard work of coming back together keeping it together uh talking about the past and moving forward healing from the past um, and allowing something new to develop here Do I want to go here? No, I'm not going to go there because it's, it's kind of toxic. I mean, these cards aren't really toxic. There are a lot of good cards in here too. Um, where are we? I'll go here maybe for 
Oh, wow. I don't know. Let's see. What does Aquarius need to know? The uh, Aquarius who are um, reconciling. Okay, so someone ghosted you, right? Or there was ghosting in this situation. And maybe that's why you guys need to talk about what happened. Like, where did you go? Who were you with, right? But at the same time, someone wants you to know that I, I want to surprise you with a new life, new home, new car, new baby, just a big old su surprise. So it's like, if we can get past this, there's so much more, you know, on the other end of this. If we can just get past it. Wow, reconcile flew out. All right, so yeah, that's definitely for you guys who are reconciling. Um, and your, your situation could be different. That's okay. And for some of you with the singles, it's not always going to be that maybe an old person is coming back. This could be someone new, but you've got to heal from the past, have the courage to do so, retire an old mindset. Some of you need to go sit with uh, counselors, with people who can help you do that. All right, so let's see what's going on for the coupled Aquarius. Coupled Aquarius. Coupled. Okay, business. Okay. So someone was angry because somebody was a loud mouth and somebody was in the, maybe somebody was stirring up trouble in, within your relationship, telling all your business or somebody was talking too much or, you know, making maybe the other person angry. Okay. Um, but something else is developing. Um, somebody said yes. Even though, yeah, it's like somebody went through a lot. Theatrics. Do you have an understanding, maybe a clear understanding of where you stand with your person now? Yeah. So, um, something new is developing here. Maybe at, at first there was a lot of anxiety, maybe even anger about what happened and what you said to one another. Somebody's theatrics, especially with the nine of swords, because sometimes it talks about reliving, replaying a negative event, thought, whatever over and over again you know when the dark night of the soul happens when the emotions and the feelings attack you you can't do anything about it right you just gotta deal with it so maybe that happened with you and your person and now somebody seeing clearly that you are the one for them they don't want to let you go because that like it started to feel like the end here yeah let's see what is going on for um my Aquarius who uh, who are single Aquarius who are single Aquarius who are single all right house so maybe you built a house around you yep feminine energy okay um oh you got your walls up and no one can see through to you and no one can get to you yeah so feminine, you got to have the courage to let your walls down, heal from the past, right? Retire this old way of thinking, of existing. You've got somebody in here who wants to support a new dynamic with you. You got to let some old personality trait or some old way die. You got to shed that skin like a snake. Um, what else is going on here? for my single Aquarius somebody loves everything about you but they feel like you're a live wire okay like you they just don't know the masculine feels like the feminine is a live wire here I just saw masculine um yeah I saw it again yes the, the masculine feels like the feminine is a live wire because she's been through so much yeah she's been through so much unfair treatment Maybe somebody had her in like a side chick type of situation forever. They were rude to her, but somebody's saying they love you. You know, whatever happened, even if this person did it to you, they know that they're unkind or that was unkind. It wasn't, um, sometimes this person can feel like you could be rude and unkind, especially with that wall up, but they still love you. It's like somebody, this, this person, you can't do anything wrong to this person. Even when you do something wrong to them, the love, whoever this is, they love you unconditionally. And they think you're a quick, you like quick fire. Like you quick to cut them off or shut them out or curse them out or, you know, just 
know that they love you and it's unconditional, but people can start to love people from afar. I'm pretty sure you don't want that to happen. So you might need to shift your energy. Money is holding me back. So, oh, somebody has a lot of money and they don't know if they should get married or they should make a commitment. African-American, somebody could be African-American. Um, let's see. Someone could be mixed race. Somebody is set, like set in their mind, but somebody's like a two minds about something. And that's why they're, they're studying you Aquarius, especially if this is someone who you have history with, but they're not making any moves. Something about March is significant. I said Easter, right? Mar Easter is in March, right? I don't know. If you're in the States and you celebrate, broken. Something's broken, though. I don't know if it's you, Aquarius. Something about you is broken. It's like you have to have control and domination, right? Um, but you're still warm at the same time. Somebody loves your smile. They could have dumped you, but they want you back and they want your forgiveness. It's like they were in a place of fear of missing out. So they treated you unfair, unkind. Um, and, and I think you retaliated with your words also, uh, how you treated them. And they, they weren't used to that. Um, somebody wants to make the commitment, but money is holding them back. I don't think it's a lack of money, but it's um, maybe they feel like people have been out for their money. That was what I initially got when I put the card down. So some of you, it could be a person doesn't have money. You know, I don't know. Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let's put some engagement rings down there. Let's put some brides and some grooms down there, whatever your orientation is. Um, let's just manifest collectively. If this is what you are wanting for yourself. Let's put some babies down there. Somebody said they want to surprise you with a new car, new baby. Put If anybody puts a new new home, the new car, and the new baby down there, that would be cute. Um, let's manifest corporately. corporately. Let's put it all out into the universe together. Tomorrow is the full moon. Well, today, you know, 16th full moon. Um, let's get into this full moon action. Let's start releasing, okay? Releasing and relinquishing negativity things that do not add to you uh, but they subtract they do not add value all right so aquarius if you want your own personal reading go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time uh come learn the tarot with me tarot classes are linked below thank you aquarius many blessings to you take care